we're over here at David's black sapote tree and you can as you can see it's covered in fruits so let's go take a look at them we're gonna pick a few but David was teaching me that the ones you want to pick you know they're related to black they're related to the the persimmon family you want to pick ones that have this ridge lifted up above the crown of the fruit just look that one's kind of lifted up at these That's a good one right here. Look at that. That's what you want to look for raised up. Let's go put these in the bucket. Found a big one right here. You can see how they're awesome. That's a big one. Let me see how it's raised up. Yeah. That's a perfect one. It's all the way raised. This one's yeah. halfway raised. This one popped off pretty easy. Would this one still be a good one to pick? I would think, yeah. Yeah. I'll put that one in there. You can see how they when they fall to the ground they pretty soon. In there. So yeah, Lox Sapote is related to the velvet apple. Uh, more related to the velvet apple. Cousin of the persimmons. Kinda looks like one. It's got different leaves, but the fruit. As you can see, there's a nice one. Has some. There's a good one. Find a lot of good size near the bottom. That one's not ready. Be careful! Don't slip in them. Yeah, that's the ones on the ground. <clears throat> so this tree was here when you moved here. I wonder if it's from a seedling. Or how big it is. It almost looks like someone cut it and it grew back from the stump. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it? Yeah. Let's check out all the fruits. And they just, every year, they just cover, are covered in the tree. And you can see they, they fall on the ground. It's just too much for David to handle. So it's hard for him to eat them all. You see all the. I love the foliage of the tree, but at least on the that one, it's not lifted. What do you think of that one, Dave? Is that not lifted up enough? Try it, pick it, and try it and see. Let's see. It's not gonna hurt anything. Yeah. There's so many of them. Now you definitely don't want to pick one where this crown is flat to the fruit. This was raising up a little bit. This will be perfect. That was perfect. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I think it'll wrap it up. That. Some of these, some of these need some time. Tiny ants all over. Cool. Sugar ants. I love the sugar from it. Yeah, just a little bit more time. So here's one that's too young. You can see how the crown's folded downwards. Of upwards, so you don't want to pick this one. And usually the crown's a little bit darker. Look, see the look of it. Let's pick this one. one. Alright, cool. That's a nice one. That one has the crown starting to lift. And some of this dark you see is just mold from. Scale insects. Let's see, it's 
some of it does tar see the scale it's nothing to worry about let's pick this one that's a good one I, I can get it from you thank you Oh, that one just fell off my hand. Bye. I say it is a good one. Yeah. They look almost like big green tomatoes. They do. <laughs> they do, they do. They just taste different. Yep. And with these, you want them to be really ripe when you eat them. You want them to look like they're rotten. Kind of like the ones on the ground. So you just have to to your left right over here. Right here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. On the other side of that, I think you got a good one. Here. That is pretty. Yeah. Let's get this one. Yeah, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. See how that one looks. That one might be a good one. It's almost like the end of it gets kind of yellowish yeah. to green. Yeah. So that's another thing to look for. The end gets kind of yellowish like this here's one here that might even be ready uh, that does look almost ready look at that it looks like it's ready to drop i just saw that let's let me try to get this over there here's one that looks oh look at that is it soft it is it's ready let's go and eat one won't you looks like another one up here too if you if he would have waited another day, this would fall on the ground and splat. But when you're eating them on, when you're ripening them yourself, you want to wait another day till the skin's really soft. Oh, that's, oh, that's that perfect. Started, uh, started rotting. It probably rotting inside. You think so? It was all bruised and uh, it might be. I'll still try it. I'm gonna set this down it real might quick. Be foul Let's see, we'll see what it tastes like. I'm gonna set this here for a moment, get my camera out. Let's open this one up. What do you think about that? Is that kind of a little too early? Yeah. Maybe not. That's pretty good. That's still really good. Look at that. I like when it gets real dark. It gets a little sweeter. Mm-hmm. That one's fermented. Right here is perfect. Let's try this one. That one's pretty. You're still, you're still eating on yours. That's like right on the border. Perfect. Of uh, getting old. Camera's on. cutting weed in him. So here's the seed. You can see the seed of it. And that's the you usually don't eat this pocket. It doesn't taste kind of weird. There you go. Black sapote. Right, let me bend down. Pretty good. It's delicious fruit. Mm -hmm. One thing is, don't go in thinking it's gonna taste like chocolate pudding. It does, and it has its own its own flavor to it. It's very close to it. Very close. We love it. There you go. Thank you, David. This one here is real. Else likes it because not too many are. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat them all up. I could eat them every day. 
if I could. You ever eat the skin? I haven't, no. I, I just... Here is really sweet. I'm sure I have it all over my face. Get to the bananas. And then here's some more seeds. See how they, they pop out of this this uh, this bag sack thing. You probably have them pop up all the time, don't you? Probably. Yeah, I, I usually have a half a dozen or so, or you know, under the tree. Mm-hmm. Occasionally, I'll dig them up, plant them up. I think I got. I think my daughter has three or four potted up over there. She gonna do a bonsai with it? She was thinking about it, yeah. I mean, I'd actually be awesome to do one. Oh, there's a fruit that fell over there. Almost done. It fills you up. You could prank somebody with this. There you go. Let me go wash my hands real quick. Give me a good start. Snack on them. All right, we'll catch you later.